it's a pleasure to be here and participate in the Krakow CIA 2019. And first of all, we want to thank the organizers for allowing to share our project. Well, we are Ada Cortez and Pau de Soto, and today we want to present um, a part of a study with, um, framed within a Marie Curie project. This project, which is financed by the European Commission, is called the Trustil, and the professor wants to create the scientific basis for identification and definition of a, a specific and um, particular type of Roman house. Well, this house, this domus, which is a hybrid concept of Greek and Hellenistic scheme of the house, and a particular Roman courtyard type has been observed in different parts of the Roman Empire. However, um, the trust is focused in the area of the ancient Magna Grecia and Sicily in the last centuries of the Republican time, when the, the, colony, the Greek colonies or big part of the Greek colonies of this area became a Roman city or went into a Roman focus. Um, the Trastilon chose this area because it's a good goal to um, analyze a big number, an important number of this type of house and, and observe the results and consequence to changing. Um, the Greek peristyle from, from, for a, natrium, a Roman atrium, but in the Greek concept of the house. It's important to say that in the last years, um, various studies um, have identified uh, a type of Roman atrium house in these, in these Roman cities with the Greek past that not is possible to recognize as the traditional or common Roman atrium house. In fact, part of these studies define this courtyard type, this, this, this atrium, as a reduced peristyle because and the, the household scheme of the house is a Greek concept. It's clear that this phenomenon is a little complex and requires a very deep an analysis. Uh, it's a, it's a, a type of domus that uh, have been detected in some archaeological sites, but it has not had a complete and systematic study of all of those, uh, these examples. For this, uh, for this reason, it, in that sense, of an integral uh, uh, um, integration compilation of this type of domus, the first step is create the basis for a correct definition, a, a description of this type of house. After that, we can better understand the historical context, its real influence, and the impact of this domestic structure uh, on Roman society or a part of this Roman society. Uh, this type of house is named uh, in a very preliminary manner the Trustil Courtyard House. Okay, so those, uh, as I have already pointed out, this, this structure scheme of, of this domus joins the concept of the development of the Greek habitat and the use of the Roman atrium space as the central distribution area of the house. Nevertheless, we are perfectly uh, aware uh, of the difficulty of generalizing over a particular uh, structure of the uh, household structure. But after several studies in the wall of the domestic architecture, um, in the, all the parts of the Mediterranean, the historiography has been observed a possible trend of the Greek house structure in the Hellenistic era and also a trend of the uh, Roman atrium house since uh, more or less uh, third century before Christ. So we could say that um, in the peristyle house or courtyard house in the Hellenistic wall trends to a very centripetal uh, plane or structure of the house. For example, as you can see in this first image is the house of the, of the colline in Delos. This house has a very centripetal distribution of the rooms around this peristyle. However, the, mm, the most famous uh, structure of the Roman atrium house um, is more axial 
and more symmetrical, as you can see in this uh, example of the house of Kirurgo in Pompeii. Okay, the outcome is a, a very particular type of hybrid house and that the, trust, that the trusting courtyard house has a very centripetal distribution of the house but with an, an atrium as a discoverable place uh, of, the, of the house. So, the deep knowledge of the different types of, uh, of the ancient houses will allow to appreciate the cultural interchanges, in this case Greek and Roman, of this specific type of house. But first of all, this, uh, this project is a Roman architectural project and, and is, uh, is in, we, uh, that analyzes uh, all the features from archaeological perspectives. It is a, 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 a constructive material and decorative uh, study that analyzes uh, the constructive techniques, the planimetria, the aesthetic phases, etc., materials, domestic materials, walls, uh, the decoration. But uh, this uh, project wants, wants to have the most possible interdisciplinary approach. For the reason we were here today, and because after analyzing the walls of these houses, we want to analyze the space that these walls create. As an, uh, a domestic architecture specialist, I want to use the space syntax as a complementary tool for a better understanding uh, of the indoors, uh, indoors uh, operation and the relationship with outside. It's true that with the traditional architecture tools, we can see a part of this circulation of the ind indoor, but with the space syntax, we can elaborate more information, create control values, create axial maps, etc., that help to ask uh, more questions of the social necessity and social patterns and see some difference between that the trusting courtyard house and, and this more classical or traditional um, Roman atrium house. Well, this <laughs> is okay. No, okay. Um, as I said, um, we are not talking about uh, what is a space syntax, but the idea, it, it was um, to give more information to, to this study, uh, to, as, as she said, to give a, a, a complementary view about uh, the spaces of, uh, within this, uh, these houses. Um, the idea, uh, I want to remark also that uh, this is an interdisciplinary approach, um, we work um, a lot in all of this uh, in the plants that you will see later. Uh, we don't we don't uh, just use uh, published plants, but uh, we also w went to the field. Uh, to, we made a new planimetry. We we work with photogrammetry. We analyze every single wall to analyze uh, all of the entrances and all of the doors of of all of these buildings. So the idea is to make something more complete that only work with the with the plants. Uh, today we are going to explain only uh, four uh, different cases um, because um, we studied more houses but the idea today was to show uh, uh, just a little bit, uh, a little uh, example of, uh, about what we are doing. Uh, one house is from Paestum, uh, this house is from the from the second and first century before Christ, it's a it has a tetrastyl atrium and, uh, and as all of these um, tetrastyl the courtyard houses, it has a, a is not an axial distribution, uh, and it is not symmetry. We also analyzed uh, the house, one house of one, some houses of Belia, but in this case we we are going to show you the one house, one particular house from the Republican era, with an uh, with a Tuscan atrium. Uh, we also uh, we also analyzed for this uh, presentation one interesting uh, case because this is from Heraclea de Lucania. Uh, the interesting case of this house is that in the third century before Christ, it was a, a, a Greek uh, peristyle house, uh, but uh, during the second century before Christ, uh, the owners of this house uh, re re rebuilt or remodeled uh, this uh, this planimetry of the of, the, of this house. Um, building an atrium where uh, before it was uh, the peristyle, and also uh, uh, doing some some 
different reorganization of the rooms uh, surrounding this uh, this atrium. And finally, the house of Crotone. This is also a, a, a house from the second century before Christ, and it is also interesting because it has uh, two different um, areas. It has a one domestic, uh, some domestic rooms, but also it has a some productive area, which is also interesting to analyze. Uh, with that, uh, we begin to analyze some uh, structural uh, calculations to analyze the role of, of, of each of these rules of this, of this of these rooms uh, within the relationship of the, the structure of the house. Uh, in one side, we analyze the control value, which means uh, more or less the, the ability of the, the ability of each room to co to communicate with other uh, with other rooms. And the real relative asymmetry, which is one one value that allows us to analyze uh, the integration of each room within all of the structure of the house. Uh, we have these uh, different four uh, four house plans. What we did was to identify all of the spaces of these houses. Uh, we obviously we related them with the other spaces uh, depending on the connection. If they if 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 it, if it exists a connection, obviously. Um, we connect uh, the dots, but if not, not. Uh, and then what we get was this kind of structures. Um, analyzing the, the control value, or the control values, and the real asymmetry of of, uh, of the uh, cords or the the testing cords, uh, which are uh, pointed in blue. What we get with, with, uh, was not nothing new. <laughs> it was what we expected. Uh, obviously, a central cord which is uh, organizing a, a house. Obviously, it will has the highest uh, control value of all of the rooms of the house, and at the, at the same time, these spaces, as, as they are uh, um, connecting and organizing all of the house, where uh, are the, the the places more uh, more integrated within all of this structure. Uh, then, when, what we do was to compare uh, these um, these calculations. Okay, uh, to compare. Uh, these results are with uh, other types of house. Uh, obviously, ones were from the Greek peristyl houses, um, and then with Roman atrium houses. Uh, it, it's interesting to point that to analyze the Greek peristyl houses, we used uh, examples from different areas, one from Greece, and also one from our uh, area of study, because it was interesting to analyze this in, 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 in our own context. And with the Roman atrium houses, it was something similar. We took one uh, canonical uh, identified atrium house from Pompeii, but also we took one from Paestum, which is also in our area of study. We did the same, and 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 then what we get was uh, the results, uh, the same as so, uh, some uh, the structures, and what we get. Uh, was again uh, something that we expected. Uh, it was uh, something very similar with uh, the other cases. In that case, uh, this big uh, court, uh, this big open courts in, in in this kind of Mediterranean houses always have the most highest values and has uh, the most uh, integration of all of these uh, of all of these rooms. So for that reason, until now, um, we don't get any uh, strong differentiation between um, our our typology and. Uh, the Greek and Roman type of houses. Then uh, we are beginning, uh, it is only a very preliminary preliminary approach uh, about what happened with the, the visibility relationship between uh, the entrance of the house and the main room of the house, uh, of those houses. The idea was to analyze um, some social aspects that relate with the organization of the house depending of uh, the situation of the different rooms and the and the main entrance of the house. As you can see here, uh, what we have is that there is a very few visibility between these those spaces because uh, they are always located in a dif in, 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 in a different point of um, in a different orientation. It happened in, in all of in all of them. All of them when the people when when people or users ent enter enter it in, in those houses, they don't get a a, a, a quick and easy uh, view of the main room or where uh, the main uh, pattern of the house where sh should be located. Um, we did the same with uh, the Greek and Roman uh, houses. What we saw is that uh, it, in the Greek uh, peristyle houses, it follows more or less the same rule, the same rule, 
um, the entrance of the house and the main room are not located in the in the same uh, axial axial location. So it means that maybe it should be some kind of visibility, but it's very limited. But at this, but when we compare that with the Roman atrium houses, what we saw is that there is a very uh, frontal um, vision between the entrance of the house at the, and the main room uh, of this building. Um, this is a comparison of all of these uh, models. And then we are also beginning to work with those, some kind of axial, axial maps uh, to see the, how these uh, axial lines um, where were located the more uh, the most um, integrated axial lines uh, in in those houses uh, in the in our uh, tetrastyle uh, houses um, it's a long name um, <laughs> we found that there is a very distributed uh, integrated uh, axial lines always al always related with the with the atrium. But when we compare that with the Greek and the Roman atrium houses, we saw some significant differences. Uh, in one, for one side, uh, we saw uh, similarities with the Greek peristyle houses. The Greek peri peristyle houses, because uh, of the organization of the rooms around uh, around the, the peristyle and the size of the peristyle, uh, allows to have a lot of uh, integrated um, connections, uh, axial lines within this uh, this uh, this code but uh, in, when we analyze so when we see the roman atrium houses we see a different pattern in in which which uh, is more promoted is the strong connection between the entrance of the house and the end of the house or at least to go to from the uh, entrance of the house to the main room of uh, of the owner of the house this is a comparison of all of this and uh, this is uh, to conclude the idea is First of all, pointed out that this uh, the still on uh, is a project in, is a project in progress. Uh, so it means that uh, we are still working in all of these calculations. This is only a first uh, approach to this kind of information. Uh, what we found is that uh, control values and uh, this kind of uh, structural analysis for now uh, we, it's not offering us uh, differentiation values. So we want to work more with this. Uh, one of these uh, one of the things that we are thinking is to uh give different weight to the different nodes of the spaces depending of quanti of qualitative uh, questions for example uh, if 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 uh, if if uh, some rooms are more important than others or are bigger or are, uh, some different elements that allow us to give different weights to uh, different nodes to make new calculations uh and what we are what we are finding is that the visibility analysis and this axial lines uh, uh, analysis give uh, give more relationship with the Greek peristyle houses than the atrium Roman houses, which is something that we expected because, as Ada pointed out before, uh, we say that uh, the structure of the house is a Greek scheme, but they only change uh, the atrium. So the idea is that um, these schemes should be more related, the tetrastyle courtyard house should be more related with the Greek uh, peristyle house. And, and more to say is that um, what is interesting is that um, even even the owners uh, built uh, an atrium in this new type type of houses. It seems that they are not thinking or they are not uh, interested in in the Roman uh, behaviors, behaviors and and and. And rituals. And rituals. <laughs> I always forgot this part. And rituals. Uh, like like salutetio, it's very important. Exactly. And, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no. And then, uh, and this is also important uh, because um, sometimes when the researchers found an atrium in a house, they tend to uh, try to identify the, the typical or the canonical Roman rooms uh, surrounding this, uh, this atrium, but some cases. It, it, they won't find this kind of uh, rooms because we, they are uh, they are found in an atrium, but not in a typical Roman atrium house. But they are found in in, an, in a Greek scheme of house. So they maybe they are looking for a tablinum, which is a Roman a typical Roman house um, that room. need very visibility from the entry. Exactly, mm. and then uh, and and just uh, to say that in this Roman in this Tetrastyle courtyard house, uh, what we are founding or what she is founding is that. Uh, even they change uh, the atrium, they are also uh, make, making some kind of, uh, of structural changes, trying to 
give more importance to uh, some ro some rooms uh, giving a central role even if not if, even if it's not connected with the entrance. Um, Sí, sí. Ah, so, so it is. Sí. Ah, sí. Gracias. Thank you.